This is the machine that will deliver sustainable agriculture into the hands of the Australian farmer. Built from below the ground up, this machine carries all the hallmarks of the multi-farming system's philosophy. A robust mainframe, uniform and precise depth control, 15 degree tooltip angles and the preferred 13 and a third inch rows. Yes, it's capable of planting into all conditions ranging from conventionally farmed soils, in minimum till, full trash cover situations, even in virgin soils that have never been touched by machinery. Yeah, well David, as you know, we were drought stricken, you know, and I had great enormous amounts of sheep here and this paddock was eaten right down to the ground. It's virgin country yeah. and so butt grass country, very good canamel butt grass country. And I needed, uh, you know, a real substitute of a volume of feed mm. to save me stock. Mm. So I believe this multi-planter had the ability to go into this paddock mm. and uh, tear through these butts and tough ground. Mm. And we were lucky enough to get 240 points of rain on the 14th of April. Well, we couldn't get the tractor here quick enough yeah. to get it planted. Yeah. And we finished on about the 18th and we came up and we couldn't believe it. The barley was coming up. Mm. It was that quick because mm. the ground was hot. Mm. And you can see here what's happened in a month. We nearly got cattle feed. Yes, all over Australia, farmers are moving into no-till farming. And the results are unanimous. The multi-planter just works. Since uh, purchasing one of Dave's machines, we've been able to increase our productivity quite a large amount. We're, uh, we're now sowing with fuel costs as low as two-thirds of a litre to the acre, a labour cost of around 13 cents an acre, and we've increased our sowing window from the earliest possibility to start sowing uh, with the moisture-seeking capabilities. With this machine we're covering around 90 acres an hour, and uh, we intend to sow about 28,000 acres with it every season. So let's get down and dirty here. Look at just how it's done. The robust planter frame is available in almost any configuration, from linkage mounted to folding wing, and even end toe for the widest machine. The modular construction of the frames means that you can also add to your machine as your profitability increases and your operation expands. Tines are not cramped by the placing of wheel assemblies within the frame, but are fitted front and rear of the machine. This maintains a much flatter frame aspect, even in the roughest and harshest of zero-till situations. And these units are designed with the Star Wars farming techniques of tomorrow, such as tramline farming using global positioning systems. Yes, GPS technology can be used to steer the multi-planter accurately. Of course, on the wider machines above 60 foot, this steering system becomes highly recommended to avoid slope creep. Interestingly, research shows that savings of up to 30% are available through the use of GPS technology with zero overlap, while some conventionally farmed land is as much as 17% double farmed. Ouch, that's a big hit on the bottom line. 